Hey guys, welcome back. Second video in two days. What are the odds? Um, anyway, this one's going to be really quick. I just wanted to go over a quick tip to save some resin if you're using a Form 2 printer. I got these parts to print the other day from a client. These are not for me. I didn't model these. Um, and I believe they're taking these, they're going to print them, mold them, and then make resin copies. So these are, these are basically the patterns for what will be copies, as, as far as I understand. Um, now, these parts were modeled completely solid. So you can see uh, through the sides, because we've got some clear resin here, that this is a solid piece. It's very heavy. And the same with these guys. Totally solid. Um, one thing that the Form 2 printer doesn't do that an FDM printer, like the one back here does, which FDM is kind of with the filament, is it detects the, uh, you know, this, like if a part is solid, it can control the infill. Like the uh, one of these FDM printers can make a pattern on the inside and you can control the density of the infill. So you can make it, you know, 30% dense and then it'll have the, the walls will be the same. And the part would look identical, but it'd be a lot less material and a lot lighter. The Form 2 does not do that. So if you want a part to be hollow, you have to model it hollow, uh, which only takes a few minutes extra to do. And if it were me, that's how I would have done these parts. I would not printed them solid like this. Um, another benefit to that is that it saves a lot of time in printing. And again, the material costs, oh my God. So that thing I just swapped in my last video is only one liter of resin. So picture a one liter bottle of Coca-Cola or something and think about how much you'd have to pour to make these parts completely solid. It, it, it goes really fast. And one of those those uh, containers is about 160 bucks, give or take, plus shipping. So it's not cheap to do. So when a part is solid, you use your expensive materials really, really quickly. So keep that in mind. If you're printing things, if you don't need to make them solid, make them hollow. It'll save you a ton of time and money. But uh, anyway, thanks again for stopping by, guys. I will be back soon.